Hey, my name is Joe, and I'm going to give you the grand tour of the search function of the WineFinder app. If you take just a few minutes here, you're going to be able to leverage this app and find the absolute most extraordinary wines in the store every time. First thing I want to show you here is the What's the Occasion screen. We are actually like the Pandora for wine. We rate wine on over 400 different characteristics, and so when you select something like Gift, and you set the store here, um, you're going to see that we start asking you questions. Is this a formal or a casual type of gift? These actually affect the results that you're going to get because we rate wines on things like bottle aesthetics. Is it a good looking label? Is it a good looking bottle? Or does it look cheap? So that when you select a gift, you're going to get something that's not just a spectacular wine, but a beautiful bottle as well. Um, party is another good example. We know that when you're going to a party, that bottle is going to get opened, and we want that bottle of wine to be a crowd pleaser, something that everybody's going to enjoy and not appeal, appeal to just a segment of the, uh, of the party. Um, but we're going to go with quick search here, because this is how most people use the app when they're in the store, standing in the wine aisle. And you'll see that we've got ways to set the store, and then sort of shortcuts through the menu by clicking next to, uh, in this case, select price. Now I could also select multiple price ranges and I'd be searching wines from five to twenty dollars. We're going to stick with the ten to fifteen dollar white wine in this case and then uh, Chardonnay. Um, and I'm also going to mention that all of these different menus are, uh, are optional. So you don't have to select all of them. You can select one, you can select many, it doesn't matter. Uh, in this case, we're going to look for a uh, wine that goes with a particular type of shellfish. We're going to specify that. We're going to go down and say, hey, I want a, a, a great wine that goes with lobster. Um, you can match, uh, you can go even deeper, really, and get into things like flavors. So we're going to go with apple and butter in this case. And then you could go even further and get into things like what kind of palate this wine's going to have. Is it creamy or is it crisp? But we're going to pass on that. And so what we've got is a search for $10 to $15 Chardonnay. goes with lobster. And uh, in this case, we selected apple and butter in flavors. You can also, down here at the bottom, select a particular brand of wine or a region like Napa Valley or a, a state like California or even a country, uh, something from from the United States or France, for example. Um, but we're not going to do that. Um, if you did, though, one thing to note, because we've seen this come up, um, you want to, if you don't, you wouldn't put the brand in here and then put Chardonnay. You have to define Chardonnay up here, or this, this is not going to work unless you just stick with the brand or the, uh, the region. So we're going to search for this. A uh, very specific $10 to $15 Chard Chardonnay search. And you'll see we've actually got five results. Um, a couple things I want to point out on this results screen. One is that these little green headers up at the top here, you can tap them and they're going to sort these A to Z alphabetically. Um, and the same applies for all of these column headers. So I'm going to turn this a little bit so I can reach the, uh, the value here. And you'll see that I sorted them from lowest to highest or if I tap it again, it's going to go highest to lowest. So we're now looking at the best value in the $10 to $15 category by having tapped that. Uh, that's really nice when, if you're like a lot of people, you want to just find the highest value wine uh, in the list. In this case, we're going to go with this uh, middle selection here. And you'll see that the review here, very easy to read, very accessible. You've got the full review down below here. Um, a couple things to point out in here. One is uh, the where to buy. When I tap this, this is going to give me a list of, uh, of stores where I can buy this wine. Now, a lot of times that list is very long and you would tap that when you're maybe sitting at home and you found this particular bottle and you say, hey, where can I go buy that? The other things uh, to note here are these, uh, these icons down below. If I tap this first one, this is the add to my wine icon. And when I tap it, what it just did is save this wine over in the my wine section of the app. So you now have it. It's a, it's a way to create your own customized list of wine. Then I've got this notes section. So you can tap in some notes. In this case, I'm going to why not tap in a uh, 
little thing. You can use that to remind yourself later to, to buy it or to uh, write your own review. And you'll see that the, the uh, little icon turns a solid color. And then your own star rating. So in this case, I'm going to go four out of five stars. And then the last thing here is the ability to share this wine with others. So you've got that sitting there available to you. Very cool. Um, and then we're going to go back to how people use it when they're in the aisle. You've got this bottle image, right? And you tap it and you get the full screen bottle image. And then guess what? You just walk it down the aisle, but this time we've got a surprise. We get to the match, right? And you're going to go pull it off the shelf and then you say, Oh, I remember those, those guys from uh, the Wine Finder app. They always tell me every year is different. And what's, what do we have here that's a bit of a problem? We've got the 2013 Cryptograph Chardonnay, but on the shelf is a 2015. So you say, oh man, well, I don't know. Is this, uh, did these guys even review this? Well, guess what? That's what this other years button is for. You tap that other years button and you're going to see we did. We not only reviewed the 2015, we have the 2014 in here. Now that one is grayed out and you can't tap it and that tells you that we reviewed it, but it didn't make the value. The 2015, however, did and good news for you because this is a double your money value, a true extraordinary wine that you can buy for $12. So you're, you're getting double the value uh, for this 2015. And sure enough, grab it, pull it off, and you leave the store even happier because you found the latest vintage and you doubled your money on the purchase. So that's it. Thanks for spending the time here. I know it's a little bit longer than what we're normally doing, but by figuring out uh, these, by learning about these little tips and tricks within the app, you're going to just really get the spectacular value wines in the store you're shopping in. Thanks again. Sit back and chill.